Hey you guys, what's going on? Today we're doing an unboxing, and yes, I already opened the box, but I did not look inside. Well, I kind of looked. I just wanted to see if there was one knife in there or two, and there are two knives in there. And these are knives that I just purchased from Blade HQ uh, because they were on extreme sale. So if you like Blade HQ and you like these knives I'm about to unbox, I think they're probably still on their sale deal. Um, I got them both for roughly uh, roughly half off. So let's take a look at what we got in here. We got, look at that pretty box. Oh, we have a Kaiser. Sorry, it doesn't fit the non-Chinese knife thing. And we have a Cricut. A cricket. I haven't bought a cricket in a long time. It's kind of an older cricket, and I think this is kind of actually an older Kaiser too. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Let's work. At, uh, let's look at the cheaper one first. This is the cricket. This is the slacker. Oh, this isn't Chinese. This is product of Taiwan, um, but it is a cricket. So we'll see what happens. Uh, this is a Ken Onion design. It's got that um, field assist breakdown technology, whatever. It's got really crappy blade steel, but I just wanted to check out this part right here more than anything. And I kind of like the design of it. Ken Onion designs some really nice knives. Let's. Oh. Well, that's good. And that's good. And that, that part's good. And it's not as rough as I thought it would be. Field strip technology. That's what I'm trying to think of. Huh. Wow, that's really sharp on the back edges there, but it's not like terrible. Uh, there's jimping there, but it does nothing. It's super non-aggressive. It's like you can't even hardly feel it with your thumb. Uh, you want to do a quick size comparison? Let's look at it next to this guy. This is is it next to the Delica. So you can see it's just a little bit bigger than the Delica. But right out of the box, um, I'm impressed actually. And I got it for $29. <laughs> Which it's worth every bit of that. I can tell you that right now. Just the fact that it centers and it flips and the detent's correct on it. Uh, makes it worth that. I'll get in here and zoom in. You guys can look at it. Kind of a gear drive backspacer. There's the field strip technology thing. I guess the centering is just a tiny bit off. Kind of looks like the pivot can be loosened, maybe. There's your nice little clip there. And it's kind of ergonomically a blurb. They should have taken that and then bent it back straight again maybe a little tiny bit might have helped yeah but anyway there's that knife and then this next one is a kaiser and it's one that i've wanted for a long time i've looked at it and i said no and i've looked at it and said no i've looked at it and said no and it is the pelican mini uh i don't think i've ever seen the pelican large to be honest with you. And how in the world? I know this box has to come out of that box or out of this sleeve or whatever. Or is it open? No, it's got to. There we go. There we go. Kaiser does some pretty nice boxes, pretty fancy schmancy. I would, you guys know how I feel about that. I'd rather pay less for the knife and not have all the fanciness. You get a envelope thing with all kinds of paperwork and goodies inside. Um, and inside that envelope is another envelope with your cleaning cloth. And inside your box is a pouch. <laughs> and this is not a zipper pouch, this is a Velcro pouch. And inside the Velcro pouch is another plastic pouch with your knife in it. 
and no extra hardware. What? Uh, that's weird. I bet you there's some here somewhere. No. Huh. Maybe this knife doesn't come with extra hardware. Is there another pocket in the pouch? Nope, there goes my tactical push pin. Anyway, here's the knife, and they consider this a mini. Yes, they do. And there's nothing really mini, mini about it. But what I like about it is it's a thumb stud knife. And I've always wanted to try one with this kind of setup, this kind of harpoon type point thing on there. Um, yeah, you can kind of choke up on it a little bit. It's not a huge finger choil, but you can get up in there. It feels pretty sharp. The blade is a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. Yeah, no lanyard tube, yay! Look at that, just a nice clean backspacer. That's pretty dang good for your first flick. Milled titanium, no sharp edges anywhere. Right off the bat anyway. I'll do a size comparison. It's not a tiny knife. Here it is next to that Delica again. And as you can see, it's uh, a bit bigger. A bit bigger. Um, that's 35 yen. So that's good. It's still good steel. I know there's been murmurings of people starting to say, eh, it's 35 yen. Well, you know what? It's still really good steel. It's still a high-end steel. Milled titanium pocket clip. And I got this for $107. And they're usually $170. So I couldn't pass that deal up. And then, hang on, we're not done yet. Oh, we got this other box here. Yeah, this is a good one. And I got this one too at a pretty fair price. I got this one from DLT Trading. And this is a special edition, or not really a special edition, it's a DLT exclusive. Yeah. And I got it before they sold out. Here it is wrapped up in all this paper. Somewhere like Christmas around here. Ooh, another spider co. Another spider co. And this knife was $184. But they didn't charge me taxes or shipping, so that's not bad. Not for an exclusive Spider Co., not bad at all, in my opinion. And I get to try out a new steel, which is nice. I, I've been, so you guys know that's kind of what helps me to buy things, is because I like to have new steels to try out and see how they work. And if I like them, I keep them. And I don't even have one of these in my collection right now. But I do now again, once again. There's your silica gel. Here's your purple. Paramilitary 2 with CPM crew wear steel. Blacked out version which is good for where I live. Might keep that steel from patina and up. Uh, and they black out everything, liners, clip, everything. So that's kind of cool. It's a little bit stiff, but that's all right, we can fix that. And the centering is right on the money. And it feels amazing, just like any Spyderco, any PM2. Of course, I'm gonna have to turn the clip around and put it down there. And yes, it does have that lanyard tube. I don't know. I hope it's not the crimped on type like it was on my pair of three. Here for a size comparison. 
in case you've never seen a pair or two. There you go, next to the Delica. You can see it's kind of a bigger knife. It's uh, kind of in between there and there. So, yeah, crewware. Supposed to be a really good tool steel. Very much, much better than, say, D2 or any of those. Oh, I really like this knife. Um, not super thick. Nice distal taper. Feels fairly sharp. Sorry, I don't have, I got to get a notepad of paper here in my new little video station so we can do paper cutting tests. But yeah, that's it. I think what I'm going to do is try to find some raindrop carbon fiber scales for this. Should look really good. And maybe a black deep carry clip. I don't know. These don't carry too bad with a standard spider cool clip. So, yeah, there it is. What you got coming on the Toad Sticker channel in the next few weeks will be reviews of these knives right here. So, all right. Get your family together. Turn off the TV. Get away from all that crap they're trying to preach to you. And get outdoors and enjoy the outdoors. Toad Sticker, out.